Welcome everybody to our week two dumbbell fundamental strength and conditioning workout today. We've got 10 exercises here. We're going to hit full body. We'll be using the dumbbells throughout some of these exercises. You can use two dumbbells. Some of these you can do with one dumbbell. And if you do have different weights for each exercise, feel free to use them. So we'll go through a quick little warm up and then we'll go right into the workout. Uh, so let's do kind of the body weight version of each exercise. And then in round one, I'll explain each exercise throughout. So we'll do 10 reps of body weight movements each. First up, we'll start off with the squats. Just 10 reps here, feet at least hip width apart. Down, all the way up. And up those legs, those quads. Obviously, for the workout, we'll be carrying dumbbells. Next up, we're going to be doing four press for the warm up. We'll do some push ups. We're working the same muscle groups there. So either on your knees or on your toes, 10 push-ups. In exercise three will be our RDLs. So for the warm-up, we'll just practice our hip hinge. I like to place my hands onto my lap. We're just gonna shift our hip back into the hinge. Keeping that back straight, and just past your knees with your hands is fine. You should feel in the hamstring and pull it right back up. So if you can keep your legs straight, you can bend your knees a bit as well. that we'll be doing some bent over rows. So going back to that hip hinge, chest facing the floor, hands down, and we're gonna bring our elbow up to our ribs, squeezing our back muscles, and back down. We squeeze away the muscles here. Control. And coming back up, I'm gonna hit those uh, sit ups next. On to our back, knees in, sitting on up with the core. sit-ups. We've got our shoulder presses. So for this one I'm going to do it on my knees just so you guys can see. You can do the standing up, hands by the shoulder, and we're just going to punch the ceiling straight up and back down. Really flex your fists and your arms. Imagine you're carrying something heavy. Which we will end up doing. Okay, just to get those shoes up warm up there. We've got our bicep curls next. Okay, arms forward, and we're just gonna curl up. We're hinging at the elbow, the elbow stays where it is. 
Yeah. Just imagine you're holding on to something heavy. Squeeze fist. Just fire up those biceps. Next up, lunges. We're going to be stepping forward. Hands by the side as we'll be carrying dumbbells on the side or you can have it brought this up to you. And try to get your knees about 90 degrees. Bring that rear knee near the floor. Try to stay upright. Starting position. Alright. After the lunges, we got some tricep extensions. I'm gonna do it on my knees so you can see. We'll start with our arms straight overhead. Imagine you're carrying a dumbbell and hinging up the elbow. And back up. It's about nine degrees here. And hinging back up. And yeah, we're finishing off with the Russian twist. Sitting on down, on top of the floor, side to side. Feet up if you can. these exercises for 45 seconds straight so no need to go super heavy but not too light either still want it to be a challenge through it all right so going back to top and we're starting with the squats Got the timer on the screen and that you can follow along with 10 second countdown begins so with these ones, you can either hold the dumbbell with both hands or just one dumbbell. I'll start out with two dumbbells by the shoulder, getting feet hip width apart, spawning down. And open up those hips. These knees should be pointing out same direction as your toes. Staying upright as much as you can. Alright, next up, floor press. Onto our neck. Bring your heels in. Bring those arms up, chest. Right over the chest and elbow down to the floor and press it back up. Okay, and those dumbbells chest level. Try to keep that wrist above the elbow at all times. Open up that chest on the way down and squeeze the chest muscles as you press up. Spending working 
your triceps a bit as well. Lighter weights that you can control fully. 
adjust the biceps. Lunges next. Similar to a squat, you can just carry one in front of your chest under the chin or carrying on your sides with both dumbbells. So I'll be using two dumbbells for this. Stepping forward into the left. the 90 second break. Get some water in. Okay, now second round, you can adjust your weights as you need. For each exercise, take this time. My weight's a bit, and I will round up. But if you feel like the weight that you're using is already challenging enough, keep it the same, no problem. you're getting stronger is redoing the same workout at a heavier weight. Okay, round two coming up, back to the squats. Nice, 
Bang. Ten systems. Chest press next. If you feel like putting them over too heavy, you can also stick to one window for this as well. Just keeping it once again up off the chest. Otherwise, keep that pair. Now, if you feel like it's too uncomfortable having the dumbbells in front, you can have them by the side as well. Or you can have it slightly angled. But you want to keep the weight as close to you as possible. Heavier weight, it's okay that you're going slower, especially with higher resistance. Still want to keep it safe and under control. If you find that two dumbbells is too much, you can do a single dumbbell here. Start with the chest and straight.
Let's see what girls next. You can also do these with single dumbbell too. Like so. Okay, so lots of options. If you only have one number. extensions. Down ready. We got one more round to go. Again, you have another chance to adjust the weights. Of course, if it's too easy, get some heavy weights. Try picking up the pace, go a little bit faster than the last round. And if you find that you're struggling a bit, feel free to decrease the weight or bring the pace down a bit. I'll be keeping the same weights here, 30 seconds until round three. 
you need yourself a little more time, feel free to pause it. And once you're ready, jump back in. Okay, you want to always go at your own pace. We are going back to the spots in five seconds. Keep pushing. chest as you blow up. Conditioning. 
So I'm gonna call it strength and conditioning. Working on both. near the end. seconds. <sighs> Ten 
seconds. Let's get there. Together now. And time. Walk it off. Get that water in. I got the sweat. Pass your breath. Gather your breath. Congratulations, you just survived Dumbbell Fundamental Strength and Conditioning Workout. Whew. Wasn't easy, but we're keeping it simple still. Basic fundamental movements. And if you want more of a challenge, we uh, hit intermediate movements on Thursdays, so check that out later in the week. Whew. Okay, we're gonna a little space. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching. Start from the top, right arm over the head. Gently pushing the elbow down, stretch up the tricep. Releasing, switching arms. Keep it nice and tall. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Crossing the right leg over, reaching down, stretching the hamstring. And bring it back 
back up. Last one, placing your fingers, pushing forward, and we're gonna sit back. Reaching forward, stretching the back. And bring it back up. And release it. Alright, that is gonna do it. Whew, full body workout here. Hope oh, you guys enjoyed it. Like I mentioned earlier, on Thursday we'll be doing intermediate style. So bringing back the dumbbells, but we're adding a little bit more complex movements. Still working off of basic fundamental movements. So think about more compound movements. A little bit harder, a little bit more challenging. But it's gonna it's gonna be a good one. So look out for that on Thursday. Let's pop up the schedule. Tomorrow, Wednesday, is our strength pull day. How much wish I'll be doing deadlifts, back biceps, going much heavier weights on these ones. Friday will be our strength leg day, and Saturday we'll be doing some kickboxing. So lots to do, lots of variety on my fitness channel on my Twitch and YouTube, be sure to follow or subscribe to keep up to date. And I'll see you guys on the next one.